I'm not totally sure why after a long day, I just flop on my stomach into my bed. Then I slowly wrap my arms underneath my pillow until they lock in the most comfortable position possible. Then I turn my head about 90 degrees so I can breathe. I like sleeping on my stomach. This position right here is just the best. I'll shoot this entire video right here. The position is just unbeatable. However, for my health, it's trash. By the way, I don't sleep with this many clothes on. I'm more of just an underwear guy. I know some people go commando. Is, is this TMI? Welcome to No Lab Code Required. I out-research your doctor to learn answers to your questions, rather you're confused or just a little curious. My name is Johnny and this is for all my stomach sleepers. You may be a stomach sleeper, a prone sleeper, a free fall sleeper, they call us. We are not the most popular sleepers and I didn't know that. I thought everybody was sleeping on their stomach. That just feels good. And you know, it's not like we stay in one position throughout all of our sleep cycle. We're tossing, turning, flipping, flopping, but I personally believe there's a little bit of stomach sleep in all of us. But for those of us that prefer it as our go-to, there's something we gotta address. All right, bed, then person. Why is sleeping on our front side bad or less than good? I don't wanna call it bad because of this crazy thing that's in all of our backs. It's called the spine and we only get one, so we have to protect it at all costs. Unless you got like a, a spine dealer and they, they like give you a spine if you, moving on. This thing, mm. if it wasn't for this thing, I would just sleep on my stomach no problem. But then again, if it wasn't for the spine, I'd probably be shaped like warm butter. All right, the spine, it has sections, top, middle, bottom, cervical, thoracic, lumbar. Of course, there's a little bit more to the spine, but we're not gonna go hyper anatomical here because I'm not a lab coatist. That lumbar though, the whole little area, it's a lot going on. Got the bone of the spine, the literal rubbery pieces between the bone called discs, got things called ligaments, which connect bone to bone. Then we got tendons, which connect muscle to bone. And on top of that, we got a nice double handful of nerves down there so we can feel what the heck is going on. And if you've ever experienced lower back pain, then you've definitely felt what the heck was going on. It could be a number or any of those things that can cause that pain. One bad motion, a kink or a twist there and bow, back talking all type of trash. But not only poor motion, but poor position, especially over the hours that we spend in bed. Lying on our front side puts immense pressure on the spine. But how? That doesn't really make sense. If we're lying on our stomach and the spine is at the top, then where is the pressure coming from? That's easy, the bottom. Think of monkey bars. If I'm swinging, then all the tension in the bar is coming from my weight that's pulling on it. In the same sense, all of our organs, muscle, and fat are tugging at our spine as it tries its best to support us. And don't let your bed be too soft because if you're lying on your stomach and you're sinking into your bed, then your spine is almost bending backward, putting a lot of pressure on those discs. You would think that the middle part of the spine, the thoracic would bear most of the load and we'd have our problems there, but no, that's really just the middle of the back. The lumbar spine, that lower part of the spine, is the middle of the entire body. So it has to balance the upper body while stabilizing us on our lower body. There's a lot of pressure on that lower back. While we're on our front side, unless we wanna suffocate into the pillow nose first, we're gonna have to turn our head off to the side so we can breathe. My stomach sleepers, where do you like to turn your head? I prefer to turn mine off to the right. That's a, mm. That's a comfy position right there, boy. If just our head is turned, then there's this weird twist and misalignment happening in our upper or cervical spine. This could lead to us waking up with them crooks in our neck. I googled crook and it is apparently crick. I never knew that my whole life, my whole family. I'm pretty sure we've been saying crook. Is that just a, is that my family? Or is that like a black community thing? Or are we all wrong? Does anybody say crick? Is that? And don't let your pillow be too tall because now, not only is your spine twisted, but now it's lifted. Not to mention those sleep marks when you lie on your face. Having the idea for this video, I desperately wanted to know why us who prefer to sleep on our stomach love that position so much. I wanted to say, well, us stomach sleepers, we like to sleep on our stomach to protect our essential organs because it's a defense mechanism. But there just ain't enough science to support that. It looks like our preference to sleep on our front, our back, our left, or our right side is just another one of those human things that makes us all difference. Preference. And just so you got this, lying on the side with the knees up is probably the most protective of the spine when it comes to sleeping positions. But I know you ain't gonna give up stomach sleeping, so let me give you a few tips to make it safe. Err. Knee up. Bring your leg up to a knee. That'll help ease and spread the pressure along that lumbar spine. And you can really feel the difference. I dare you to do it right now. Firm up. If your mattress is made of grape jelly, it's time for you to invest in your spine. Firm up. 
One of the best ways to protect the spine, regardless of if we're in the bed or not, is to try to keep it neutral, nice and straight. You can't do that if your bed is folding you like Sunday laundry. Prop it up. Take a small pillow and prop it up right underneath your pelvis. Move it around a bit and find the sweet spot to where you feel like you're leveled with your legs and your lower back. Sit out. Get a more thin pillow. That way your neck isn't shaped like a quarter pipe for hours as you sleep. Go commando. <clears throat> I mean like, you know, with, without a pillow. You can not sleep without a pillow. Don't knock it till you try it. That'll ease and level out that spine from the cervical all the way down to the lumbar. If you're not a stomach sleeper, then I'm just so happy you made it to this part of the video. Please leave me a likes, especially if you are a stomach sleeper. If you got anything out of this, I'd greatly appreciate a like. That is the most important button on YouTube. Other than that, I'm gonna get about y'all way. Catch you in the next one. I I'm working on my outro.